In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of applying tape plugins and tape simulations to your mix. This is a great way to add a subtle lo-fi vintage vibe to your music. And I find myself applying some kind of tape emulation or saturation to the majority of mixes. In this particular video, I'm using the Waves J37, but what I'm about to show you can be applied to any tape plugin. Now, this is actually an extract from a recent live mixing session. So if you want to get access to the whole thing, just head to the link in the bio. So let's dive right in. I use tape emulation on most mixes and this kind of track that's got a more natural feel to it is definitely going to work. So again, I had, a, a, <laughs> I really should have copied across my presets. I'm an absolute idiot for not doing that. But alas, I don't have them. So let's go from scratch. So already what we're seeing here is, and this comes back to gain staging. So we want to be in this zero spot to start to really use this properly. And right now we're nowhere near. So I'm gonna actually just mute this and play around with the levels because I don't wanna either blow your ears off. Well, yeah, that's the only, <laughs> I'm not gonna, making it too quiet wouldn't be an issue, but I don't want to blow your ears off. So I'm gonna play around with the levels a bit. So the level going in is pushing this up to around zero, but then I'm gonna add another gain plugin afterwards because we've already balanced our references another game plug plugin afterwards that does the complete opposite of this one. So the, the end result is that we've got it to the kind of sweet spot for this plugin, but then brought it back down to the level that we're already working with in terms of references. And this is kind of a backwards way to go about it. I just find since I started using a plugin for references, this hasn't really been an issue, but what you could do instead is just try it, treat every mix the same, get to that kind of minus 18 sweet spot on the mix bus before you import all your references and balance them. That would have made more sense, but hey ho, this is where we are. So we'll do it this way instead. So we want to push this up till we're kind of sitting around zero, but every now and then pushing up like that, but not too much. Cool. So we added 15, so let's take away 15. Now it should sound about the same. Cool. So now we can play around with the settings in this. Again, it's going to add like warmth and a, a more analog sound, but it's also going to affect the tone quite a lot. So we already know what the problems are. Lower mid range is a bit muddy. Uh, we could have more energy in the upper mids. So whichever setting in this and, and the main things you want to focus on when you're using any tape emulator are the type of tape, the like manufacturer or the size, th those different things. Um, here, it's just, we've got these different formulas. That's the main thing, different tone and different speed, different tone. So you just wanna play around with those things until you find a sound that you're, you're happy with. I normally leave saturation, wow, flutter, all of that stuff just off. Sometimes it works, but generally I find it doesn't. So everything else off, 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 and let's try these. <laughs> Yeah, so that first one almost sounds like it's cutting lower mids and then these two sound like it suddenly it gets warmer as I flick to the as I go to the right with these. So that one got more engine like wah, 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 that area here. Kind of lose that, which is what we want. So let's try the speed. Generally just yeah. So anything lower than 15 always sounds weird. But I've, in some other plugins, you have more options there. And then model tracks. Sounds the most balanced to me. And then we can play around with this drive. So if we bring this down, we'll have less saturation. Up, we'll have more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty heavy, right? We don't want that, so we can just play around with this a bit. So this was before. This is after. It's already adding quite a lot of saturation, so we can back that off a bit.
Yeah, so it opens up the mix. It does all the things we were trying to do, as well as add in like vibe and character and all these buzzwords associated with like analog modeling. It's also nudging the mix in the direction we wanted to go in terms of opening up that bottom end and the top end. So that's how you use a tape plugin to add more vintage character to your mix. To help you actually go and apply this and improve your mixes with this technique, I put together a free cheat sheet that walks you through this process step by step. So it's a free PDF you can load up next time you're mixing, get my recommended go-to settings and just recollect all the information from this video. So it's completely free, just head to the link on screen now or in the bio and enter your details to get access. So that's all for today. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and remember, create regardless.